Hey guys, it's Susan. I'm sorry if it always looks like I'm wearing the same outfit all the time, but I'm really not. I just uh, keep this jacket on all the time because it's really cold in the basement. So with that being said, I'm here with the video. Um, it was a requested video a while back, I think maybe uh, maybe a month into uh, my YouTube videos. I haven't been on YouTube that long, so anyway, um, and I never did the review for this uh, one subscriber of mine that asked for it. So anyway, she asked for me to do a review on Sigma brushes. Now these are the Sigma travel set brushes, and <clears throat> I didn't think I would like them because I'm so into the MAC brushes, and the MAC brushes are wonderful. And um, I have no complaints about them. But the only thing is that when I traveled, because lately I had been traveling a whole lot, and so, you know, I didn't want to just take my MAC brushes along with me. And the travels, travel brushes that I do have from MAC are just very cheaply made. I don't like them. Um, to be honest, I don't know why I bought a set. Uh, but anyway, I did, and um, that was just a, um, a purchase that I regret making. So anyway, this here is not a purchase that I regret making. I really am so glad that I gave in to Sigma and purchased this brush roll. Anyway, um, it looks like this. Basically, it has magnetized here. It says Sigma here, and it's magnetized and just opens out this way. And that's what the brushes look like. And um, it has a zipper here for more storage. And um, so I have two brushes there. But what I like about it is that when you purchase this brush roll or this you know travel set here, it comes with uh, seven brushes. But then they also give you this one here, which is the 187 and I really like it and they also give you this as a free gift which is the 217 here and it's just a different color but it pretty much works the same sorry guys my nose is itchy um, it's just yeah a 217 as you can see Sigma 217 and I really like this it's just works just as great as Max brushes now, I'm going to go ahead and start off, uh, I guess, reviewing. I like the material of the bag. Like I said, it's very great. It's very nicely made. It, your brushes fit well there. And it also has a zipper so you can add more brushes or even put makeup if you want. So the brush, first brush I'm going to start off with. Oh, and another thing too is I'm liking these, uh, these covers, these brush covers. I think that anyone, any company that sells brushes, especially travel brushes, should come with this uh, brush cover. I think it's very nice. It keeps um, your brushes from losing shape. It also keeps them from getting really dusty, which is another thing that I hate. That's why I hate displaying my, having them out there on like my Sephora inspired brush holder. I don't like displaying them out there because they tend to get really dusty and so that's I don't I, I just don't don't like that's a pet peeve of mine I hate having to clean them before use but don't worry they're already clean they just have dust on them but anyway I really like this SS 150 and I would kind of say it's comparable to max 150 and I was thinking of doing the review alongside with comparing them to my Mac brushes but I decided not to because these are travel sized and so they're a lot smaller than the full size ones. I also did get the full size Sigma brush set. I got that. So if you want, you can request later on. I can do a review, um, you know, with the full size Sigma brushes versus the MAC full size brushes because I pretty much have all the MAC brushes um, that they've came out with so far. Anyway, but I think this is a very nice powder brush. It's very, very smooth. It's just perfect. Um, you can apply your blush with this. You can apply your, you know, powder foundation with it. You can use it to apply um, your, you know, translucent powder, your set powder. 
Um, so I think this brush is perfect. I'm really happy with it. I have no complaints. Oh, the only thing is that it's shed somewhat, but the Mac 150 does shed, so I can tell you that much. Um, another thing is I do love their SS 168. It's just a very nice blush brush. I use it a lot for contouring since it has an angle. It just gets right in there as you can see I used it today to contour and I just think it's a really great nice quality super soft I'm really liking this brush it's just I have no complaints on this one and it does not shed um, the next one here I have not used their SS 190 but this is a foundation brush and it's super soft as well um, I'm really like it to apply foundation, but I have yet to use it, and I'm thinking that it's going to be comparable to Max. I do have Max foundation. Um, you will, honey. You will. Sorry, but anyway, yeah, it's just a really nice foundation brush, and I really like it. I'm really, really liking um, just the shape of it. And like I said, I have yet to use it, but just from the feel of it, I know that it's going to work great to apply foundation if I ever wanted to use this to apply foundation. So I'm really super excited about this. Um, the next thing is just the full size brush is the SS187 and this here is the stippling brush, the skunk brush. It's just um, a dual fiber a synthetic brush and I use this to apply, um, like I said before, um, sometimes I use this for my cream blend blushes. Um, sometimes I use it for to apply Fix Plus all over my face after I use my Fix Plus powder, my Studio Fix powder, and I'm really liking it to use uh, that way. You can use it for different things. People use it to apply their foundation, their liquid foundation. I've used it a couple times to apply my liquid foundation, and I'm really liking it. It's a really nice travel size brush, so I have no complaints with that, and it hasn't shed on me or anything. So yeah, this is uh, again a gift that they give uh, that Sigma gives you when you buy your the travel size brushes. So I'm really liking that. Um, the next ones that I'm gonna do is this concealer brush. This is the SS 194, and this is great for concealing. And I think I like using my fingers personally, but sometimes this works best because when you use your fingers, you tend to like remove product while you're applying. I like this because it really gets it on the places that you you know need the most coverage on. So I'm really liking this brush. I have um, no complaints about this. It's perfect. It's soft. It's just you know very precise. Very you know you can get in the small areas and you can even use this to apply a foundation uh, in the areas that you can't get to as well. So I'm really liking that one. The next one is the 239 which is the SS 239 and it's basically like Max uh, shader brush works the same way packs on the color the same I like it even better than Max and like I said well I can compare it to Max because the, the full size ones because I own them and I like it because it's a lot wider as you can see and a lot rounder uh, with Max it's a little narrower and this one just picks up more color and you can kind of just you know get better more coverage on your eye with this one than max so yes um the next one that i like is max i mean max <laughs> sigma's ss 219 and i like this one and it's pretty much almost comparable to max 219 but this one is not as round it's got uh like a pointier edge as you can see here and i like it because you ju you can just um it's got a pointier edge and it's a little stiffer so I like it because you can use it really good for smudging and all kinds of things anyway the next one is the SS 224 it's a wonderful blending blush brush <laughs> and I like this you know just for blending but I th I think that this one the SS 24 224 is works a lot better than max 224 it's a lot fluffier it's even uh, just a lot denser, and I'm really liking this better than Max 224. Last but not least, the SS 217, and this one I would say is highly comparable to Max 217. It's great. It's stiff. It, uh, you know, it's great for the outer V, and it does a great job. So anyway, guys, I hope that was a good review for you all. Um, if you want me to go more in depth, like I said, I can compare the full size brushes. Just let me know. And thank you guys so much for this um, request. 
and thank you all. See you next time. Bye.